Hey, Laura J.E. Hamilton here with my Papa Bob Hamilton, who's one of my most favorite people that I respect more than anything and anyone in the world because he loves me for me and lets me be me, and he just wishes me success and supports me whatever I do. And not only me, but all of his grandkids and kids. We're so blessed to have these spectacular people in our lives and have for 85 years this man has been in this world and he has loved deeply without saying it and I love you Papa and I'm sorry to do that because I know you're totally uncomfortable. You're broadcasting that. <laughs> Nobody likes their privacy invaded. People don't like it because it makes them feel vulnerable and no one wants to feel vulnerable because it, it makes us feel exposed like our underbelly is showing and therefore we are at risk of death and survival is ultimately what we are naturally inclined toward. It is how we continue on and how we leave the legacy that we have come here as the individuated expressions of a grand overall designer that created all things including us because we are microcosms of the macrocosm. We are a reflection of all that is inside of us. We are a universe into and onto ourselves. It's time for us to breathe that deep to the bottom of our lungs to actually expand the lower diaphragm in order to activate the solar plexus, which is our willpower and self-esteem, and then our sacral, which is our creativity, our sex and money, how we express ourselves, the deployment of our time, energy, effort, attention, and money, which are the team players that are a reflection of the energetic resources that we are making use of in every single given moment. We have to realize that when we spend time with people and we go into the performance, we actually lose the connection because now I'm connecting with you and not him because I'm into this thing and not here with him. But he's always here because he doesn't have one of these. So when he's with you, he's with you unless he's in that box. But the thing that we must realize and that I have been coming to understand through all of my interactions over the last 10 plus years of really understanding the fact that there is a literal level that we live in, but there is also a mythic, symbolic, and energetic level happening simultaneously all at once. My papa always says I'm super shy, eh, Pop? <laughs> no? Are you broadcasting that? It's a video, yeah. You know what? It's new. It's novel, right? You don't put. You don't want to put your whole life on that damn thing. Right? Why? Tell us. Tell the young people that will watch this one day. Why don't you broadcast your whole life publicly? Why? What? Who? Who else is interested? My followers. My fans. I don't mean to be so bold as to say that you may like following me, but it is to say that you're following someone if you're not following yourself. If you are not standing for something, you will fall for anything. And when we are desperate for connection, we will actually sacrifice respect in order to have belonging, as Maslow's hierarchy of needs suggests. And then Tony Robbins has, instead of Maslow's survival, safety, belonging, respect, and then self-actualization pyramid, Tony Robbins breaks it down in terms of certainty and variety being our fundamental needs, and then allowing us to move into belonging and connection and significance, and then growth and contribution as the pinnacle of self-actualization, realizing that we only need to have more time if we are contributing and actually benefiting others. We must realize that everything that we do is benefiting others because we are mirrors to each other. I was said at 444, pay attention to numbers. When they are repeating, they are master numbers that are there to emphasize the original number for the lesson. What are you going to watch, Pop? 
I never call you Pops. It just sounds better on video. It's a performance. This is a performance, but realize your life is a performance too. But seriously, Pops. What the hell? I don't know why I call you Pops in this. Huh? That's interesting. I said I keep calling you Pops, because it's just easier than Papa. <coughs> I've never called you Pops in my life, I don't think. I love you though. He never says I love you back. Why is that? Better. <laughs> Concentrate on the job. What job is that then? Leave all the stuff alone. What job is it? You get too exposed. <sighs> You're going to make a slip one of these days and say something you shouldn't. Mm. And then it'll come back on you 10 years from now or 20 <laughs> years from now. We were attacked. Exactly. People will attack you if you are too exposed. If you share too much, it will come back. And then someone will say, I did not like that, and therefore I'm going to attack you. Well, realize that either they are attacking us or we are attacking us. And if they are, we are already. Generally speaking, everything is a mirror to what's happening on the inside. Our inner world is a reflection of the fact that individual needs necessitate emotional resiliency as well as resonance. Resonance is like holding on to a metal bar and if it's even and balanced then it's good but if it's one side is heavier than the other it's going to wobble and when it wobbles <laughs> Laughter starts because you have to work harder and it's nerve wracking. And if you aren't, the Second World War brought out the best and the worst. Breathe deep, actually activate the, the sacral so and the also the root. Almost Get yourself back into this world, realizing that we are the vessels that our souls chose. This body is the vessel my soul chose to experience and express itself as the individuated expression of the grand overall designer that I am. And my papa's body right there for 85 years, that has been his vessel that his soul has used to transport himself around this lifetime as him in. It is time for us to realize that we are universes walking around experiencing a larger universe outside of us and that we can actually be part of the tipping point in collective consciousness changing it from war into inner peace this is the movement and the call that i am offering to you now as part of the sacred sojourn that every soul goes through and that now we can go through together because no longer do we have to do it ourselves on our own, alone. No, 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 no. We can do it together. It's time, it's time, it's time. Isn't it, Papa? <sighs> he can't respond because it's too far out of his comfort zone. He doesn't understand and it terrifies him that I'm going to say the wrong thing and call out the wrong person and the wrong person's going to get mad and they're going to attack me. And you know what? That's okay because I am willing to put myself out there in order to liberate others to be able to liberate themselves because it is only sometimes when others give us permission in order to be ourselves that we say, okay, yes, let's. Say yes, let's, 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 let's do it. We don't have to do it alone. We can do it together. Papa, that's the end at 9.09. Laura J. Papa Bob Hamilton, we love you. We see you. And you matter. Beyond measure. Believe that. And if you haven't already, go check out Marianne Williamson's poem, Our Deepest Fear, and know that she is vying for presidency of 2020, and she is the ultimate teacher of inner peace. I am so grateful that I have now had the opportunity to share that it is not about the political party of which I know nothing and need to change that. I understand it is about living in the real world and then also realizing that we can impact that real world by implementing leaders that we hand pick that we believe in, not because of the party that they represent, but because of who they are. And that is what Marianne Williamson 
represents to me and why I believe that she should be the president of 2020 and I powerfully stand behind her as the first female president of this century and beyond because it is time for us to realize that resonance is about balance and it is about bringing the divine feminine into the present day. This is what I stand for and this is the reason that I didn't show up for a presentation I canceled two and a half weeks ago while going through the darkest time of my entire life. I went through the loss of hope and vision and desire to carry on. I actually got to the place that nobody wants to actually admit to getting to, nor actually wanting to let anyone else know that they possibly could have been so weak because we judge ourselves so harshly. <sighs> we feel like getting the gun and then are terrified of actually doing that because somebody loves us so much it would destroy them and we can't bear the thought of that, know that. If ever you question your worthiness, reach out to the one that loves you regardless. There is someone, and if there is not, reach out to me, because no longer do we need to feel alone in a world that is full of lonely people looking to be loved. We just need to love ourselves first. And that is how I can offer to help you, is to help you understand that if you want to truly experience and express yourself as the sovereign ruler of an inner kingdom that actually commands respect on the outside, then you need to connect with other people that are like you and that is what is why, that is why full of inner peace begins with finding your tribe. I have more to share on that, but it's now been 12 minutes and Papa's ready to watch his next feature film. Papa, any last words? <laughs> I knew that was going to be his response. Lord Jay, namaste.